everyone. It's Ivan with KipAdger.com. I'm out here with... Talon Sai. How's it going, everyone? And if you're unfamiliar, Talon does all kinds of awesome stuff to include basically cross country in a van. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Coming across, made it to 38 states and now I'm coming across back east. So he stopped in Idaho and he's basically going to give you kind of a little rundown of uh, his rig right here. All right, guys, so this is the sat van, and we could go into crazy detail with this, but we don't have all day. It's basically like a mobile studio apartment on wheels. So as a brief overview, it is a 2019 or 2018 technically Sprinter chassis. It's the 2500 and it's the 144 inch wheelbase. So it is the shortest Sprinter, but it's also the high roof. So once we get inside, you can stand up unless you're a giant and you're over like six and a half feet tall. There is a ton of modifications done to it to live out on the road for recovery, survival type of stuff, which I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are into. So as you can see, there is quite a bit going on here. Uh, I guess up top on the roof, we can start with the max tracks. We have a set of extreme max tracks, a regular set of max tracks. We have 300 watts of solar panel from Zamp Solar and all of that stuff keeps everything in the van completely charged as well as driving it. So as you can see right now, I'm actually plugged in because the van has been sitting up here for a few days and there's no sun. But other than that, uh, we have the Wii Boost on the roof. That actually helps when you're right on the fringe of reception out in the mountains. So that thing allows me to work mobily a little bit easier than I could if I did not have that. So we'll sort of work our way back around to the front, I guess. We have multi-cam wrapped hood because it looks cool first and foremost, but also it'll prevent some rock chips and keep the paint nice. I'm obviously not too worried about that with a van like this. We have a worn VR10 series winch up front. I've used that quite recently actually and flipped a Jeep over that was stuck in a ditch. And then I have a full rigid lighting kit, 20 inch light bar on the bumper, 50 inch light bar up top, and then pot accessory lights down here. And all that stuff is packed into a Backwoods Adventure Mods bumper. For the suspension, do you want to get into suspension? <laughs> we have a full custom suspension kit from Agile Off-Road. They actually teamed up with Fox uh, Racing Suspension to have their own SKU specific for vans like this. So we have um, a Bilstein accessory shock up there to support the struts and everything. It's pretty in depth. In the rear, I also have 4,700 pound rated leaf springs. That's a huge upgrade from a stock cargo van sprinter. And this thing rides really, really well compared to how it did stock. There are also a few other things on the outside like the pop outs for the bed to give you a little bit more room. I had to raise my exhaust and actually cut it because I kept slamming it off of rocks when taking it off road. So the van is lifted a little bit, better ground clearance, and it can actually get places. On the back, got a rear tire carrier. These are the Method Race Wheel Standards. Uh, tires, by the way, BF Goodrich All Terrains. These are 275 by 70s on a 17 inch wheel. Down here, actually, we have one of my ports for my ARB twin compressor. I can air down the tires pretty quickly with some automatic tire deflators when I'm on the road and then pump them back up once I get back to civilization. So. That's huge to have when you're really getting out there. Guess we can take you inside now. So there is a little bit of living space on the outside here. Uh, there is a 10 foot awning that actually pops out. It's a little bit noisy, but I'll give you a preview of that, I guess. So I'll stop it there, but that thing will come out 10 feet and it just sort of opens up this space when it's warm out and you can actually enjoy being outside. Then 
And we also have some more accessory lighting like down here underneath for when you're outside at night, as well as an outdoor table. I started a sticker wall. I still gotta put my Kit Badger stickers on here, but that thing is gonna be completely filled up with stickers after this. Now, stepping up inside, this is cargo van up front and then living area from the seats back. So everything up here is pretty much standard how a 2018 or 2019 Sprinter would come from Mercedes. It's got lane assist and all that junk, which is cool, but it's stuff that can fail. So I like how simplistic most of this stuff is. Captain's chairs, both of these spin around, give you more seating room for friends or whatever if you have company. And then a little bit of storage up there. Got my patch wall to go along with the sticker wall. Just added that one last night. And the Pistolero one. I got that from you, what was that, a year ago, over a year ago. So then living space, we have flip up table here. Pretty standard like RV type of stuff. Got a bench seating which houses my S-Bar heating system and all of the brains like you see right here. All of this stuff and its uh, extra equipment is found basically under this seat. We've got cabinets everywhere. This is actually where the WeBoost antenna is. So I keep whiskey, camera gear, drone stuff. And then over here is where I routed my WeBoost antenna. So this thing can run all the time. I never really turn it off unless I know I'm not gonna be in the van for a little while. This thing also turns into a bed, which I've had a few friends actually sleep on here. If you step over to the side here, this is extra counter space for the kitchen area. And then this whole thing will flip down so it gives you another support and this will turn into like a little bed if you got your kids with you on the road or something like that. And now I guess moving backwards even more. It's not a whole lot left in here. We got a Dometic sink, Dometic double pane windows as well. So the van is pretty well insulated in the winter time. Like right now it's 39 degrees and I had the heat running all night and it's been really good. Got a true induction cooktop. It's a little bit dirty because I was cooking dinner in here the other night. And then I have a Novacool fridge, which is packed with random stuff. You would actually be surprised with how much food you can fit in here. Got drinks and water and all that good stuff. This cabinet I use as a pantry as well as this right here and I pack everything in here. Tortillas, spices, chips, bags, spaghetti, pasta, like you name it, I probably have it in there. And that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Over here is a bathroom, believe it or not. It's a full sort of wet bath. Here, I'll switch places with you. So in here, I have a shower rod there, which I hang my towels to dry. There's an exhaust fan, of course. Both hot and cold water, of course. We have instant hot water, 21 gallons of fresh water, 21 gallons of gray. And then I also store my clothing in here in a duffel bag, uh, dirty clothing. And then there's a cassette toilet, which swivels down there. So you can use it. I try not to because no one wants to maintain something like that, but it's definitely there if you need it, flushable and all. So then, moving backwards a little bit more, we got a bed on a Euro lift. Um, this is where things get kind of tight. I've added a step to get up in the bed because I have this thing sitting a little bit higher. I store my mountain bike and everything under there. I can actually lift this up to give you an idea of what it looks like. So when I'm on the road, I'll typically leave that down, but if I have someone like my girlfriend or a friend with me and I want more space in here, simply turn that key on and this bed will go all the way up to the ceiling. Currently have my back windows covered, which is why it looks pretty dark back here. 
However, um, this is my storage area. So I have a ton of stuff crammed back here from kitchen accessories, a one wheel, an electric mountain bike. I'm into a lot of electric vehicles. And then under here is a microwave, 700 watts, so you can heat up some meals. I have a portable solo stove fire pit in here, wood, ski boots, a Laguna table to swivel around. I got all my cables and cords and hoses, all sorts of van accessories in here. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I guess some other things that people may be interested in would be uh, the van itself is a V6 turbo diesel. I actually have it professionally tuned with a handheld tuner from Rentec. So it's making like close to 300 horsepower now and over 100 foot pounds of torque over stock. So that's a fairly new addition. The van is quite heavy, about 7,500 pounds, but it gets up and moves. So it gets out of its own way and it's, it's pretty powerful actually. Thanks a ton for giving us a rundown on pretty epic van. Yep. I mean, it's not a bus, but... <laughs> it's not a bus. Even though it's not a bus, it has way more amenities than my bus. I think you could fit about four of these inside of the bus. And Probably. Yeah, I mean, definitely pack yeah. the amenities in there. No, it's it's amazing. Not in something I actually appreciate. And if you guys haven't followed his stuff, like I encourage you to, is... There's people that are like, oh, like I'm into Overland. And it's like, no, you pretty much just car camp. Yeah. Like I appreciate you're a practitioner and you take this places where most people would be like, oh, I'm not gonna drive over there. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that a lot. Cause like you said, people are like, oh cool. You're camping in the woods and you have a bathroom. I'm like, yeah, man. But I like sleep in a national forest pretty much every single night. So. <laughs> and actually go places that you need the suspension tires and everything else to actually access yeah versus I, going to a grocery store so absolutely <laughs> there's that but if you guys aren't familiar with talon Sai, please check them out where can they find you uh you can find me on youtube at talon Sai. if you're into firearms i have a second channel called sunday gun day and on instagram and all social media at talon underscore sei there you go but thanks for coming out man, yeah, man. thanks for having it's me a pleasure Appreciate and it. as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com Look forward to seeing you next time.